a number of, of people had been considered for the Naval Academy. None of them made it. Uh, Mitchell and later Dawson were act actually going literally all over the country trying to find somebody who would be interested in going to the Naval Academy. Why okay. was it so difficult to, well, find, to find people? Well, that was, um, uh, you'd probably have to talk to people who had millions of reasons, but certainly the Navy was not noted for its uh, 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 attitudes, uh, positive attitudes toward blacks. Most people don't realize this, but between 1922 and 1932, no black man could enlist in the Navy in any capacity, not even a mess attendant, for 10 years. Now, we had them in there. If you're already in, you could re-enlist. We had people like Dick Turpin, who was a chief gunner's mate, and uh, Shane, of course, came later, the, the movie Men of uh, Glory, where he was a, a um, diver, master diver. Turpin was a master diver, too. Mm -hmm. But this is back in 1925, <laughs> and when we had Navy people serving in an uh, uh, integrated Navy bunks and all jobs. But uh, as I mentioned, Logan's book, uh, uh, things got worse and worse. Now, the Navy had a very, very poor image. Uh, the Navy seemed more sophisticated, more gentlemanly. Uh, the white uniforms uh, uh, seemed much more gentlemanly than, than the olive drab that the Army guys wore, for whatever reason. Okay. I had an appointment pretty well, uh, so uh, uh, locked up from Dawson to go to West Point. But remember, Adam, Cla Adam Powell was elected in 1944, took office in 1945. And my aunt knew his secretary, Phoebe Nelson, and Phoebe called me and said, he's serious about appointing someone to the Naval Academy. Now, how did you feel Would you about be that? Interested? How did you feel about that, considering the, you know, the, the, well, the reality of I what felt, the Navy was I like? I thought the Navy had a better engineering program. I also recognized at that time, Washington was governed by three commissioners appointed by the president. One of them had to be from the Corps of Engineers. And I would assume that the Navy's Civil Engineer Corps would meet that qualification as well, although that would have been erroneous because rivers and harbors are a big thing of, of the Army uh, Corps of Engineers. But um, Powell was interested. Powell was a firebrand. Powell, every time the appropriation bill came up in Congress, there was the Powell Amendment to integrate the armed forces. And it looked to me like uh, it got some support, some backing from him. So you were, you were in a way, going to be a kind of guinea pig. I mean, he was yeah. he was pushing you out there yeah. in 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 waters that had drowned a number of black men before you. But the point was, if anybody's going to do it, somebody from Dunbar would. Remember, I knew the West Pointers. I was dating Ernie Davis's sister Ethel. He graduated in '45. I knew Minton Francis, Powell. I mean um, Fowler had been the speaker at my graduation from Short Junior High School. So now, all of these West Pointers I had known personally, and I didn't think they were any smarter than I was. <laughs> I mean, basically, it wasn't because these other guys, because they were dumb, because see, basically, you have to look at the cycles that encourage people to go to service academies. One is to avoid the Army infantry or infantry replacement. So a lot of people resign commissions or 
who's graduated from college, sought appointments to go back to, to the Naval Academy in West Point rather than be drafted in the Army.